both sides of the ball, probably red zone offense and red zone defense was some of the highlights of our entire team. I mean, we actually ended up being number one in college football last year uh, offensively with 40 scores out of 41 opportunities and uh, like 98%. So that was awesome. A lot of that was obviously Alex Magoo making good, smart decisions, making sure he was getting the ball in the hands of the right guys. Protection was good. Routes were really good. And I think because our defense got a chance all week long to work against them, it helped them be prepared uh, for somebody else's offense uh, for how talented that they would be. And knowing that, uh, you know, you get down there defensively in the red zone, uh, you know, you certainly want to keep them out of the end zone. You want to try to maybe force a field goal attempt. You may block it. They may miss it. Uh, if you can get a turnover, it's, you know, it's an obviously it's a huge win for you on the defensive side of the ball. But you love the competition. And uh, it's the only way that this football team and this football program is going to get better is we got to learn to compete in absolutely every drill. We're, we're going to push the players to participate in more plays. We, we kind of took the same approach that you would do in the NFL. The first game, the first scrimmage that we had was a 15 to 18 plays offensively and defensively, and we sprinkled in a little bit of the of special teams. Tomorrow, we're hoping that it's going to be somewhere between 30 and 35, which would be a like a, a half of a game, and push you know the amount of time that they're going to go, the amount of repetitions that they're going to have. We're going to put a lot more special teams into the scrimmage and stuff, and look at it as like game two in the preseason.